<laughs> Welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin. Uh, I come to you from Magoosh. And today we're going to deal with a grammar concept um, dealing with negative words. Something that you'll see in sentence correction questions. Um, something that might be tested uh, on the test. So let's dive right in. Uh, we're talking about negative words and specifically we're going to get to double negatives and what those are. But first, just to be clear, negative words uh, negate the meaning of other words in the sentence. So in English, uh, we have words like no and not that can negate verbs, nouns, um, adverbs, and we have some other negative words as well like never, nothing, uh, nobody, and there are more out there. Um, in other languages, it can be a little bit different how negation works. Sometimes you're negating uh, verbs or you're using a different uh, verb ending uh, to show negation. But in English, we just add the word no or not and things get negated. Um, one, some couple of tips. To say never, nothing, and no one is fairly emphatic. It means it's pretty extreme and very strong. And if you want to be strong with your uh, negation, then use those words. But sometimes you want things to be a little bit softer. You want to be more gentle. And to do that, you can use some of these phrases like not anybody or not anything or not ever. And that's going to soften uh, your statements a little bit. So double negatives are a grammar error. It's technically incorrect in formal English to use double negatives, although they do pop up and end up in different places. Uh, in song lyrics, in literature, in speech even, um, for different reasons. It, it does have a, um, can be a compelling way to convey information. It can be kind of funny sometimes, especially if you use lots of negative words and you just kind of like pile them up. But basically the idea is, the similar to multiplication, if you multiply two negatives together, you get a positive. And so in English, if you have two negative words in your sentence, it becomes positive. And then if you have three negative words, does it become negative again? If you use four, does it become positive again? So, for example, a good way to see this is with nothing in the sentence, it says do nothing. So that means don't act. Don't do anything. Just stay where you are. Don't go anywhere. So one negative word. But if you have two negative words, don't do nothing, that means do something. You've changed the meaning. Um, and so that's why sometimes it does end up in speech and why people can use it, because it can be a more compelling way to say something. Instead of saying do something, you say don't do nothing. Um, and I have a literary example here. This comes from a song. Um, actually, the song is called Nobody by uh, Burt Williams. And it says, I ain't never done nothing to nobody, and I ain't never got nothing from nobody, no time. And so that's much more interesting than saying, I've never done anything to anyone, and I never get things from people. <laughs> That's not that exciting. Um, it wouldn't have been such a memorable song. Anyways, moving on, in the GMAT uh, sentence correction, they will test this concept. It will pop up. It's not as popular as, say, like subject verb agreement or uh, pronoun antecedent agreement. It's not as popular as like some of the idioms, like, um, uh, not only but also, but it does end up sometimes in sentences and you got to be on the lookout. So um, I took this question from the GMAT official guide, the 13th edition, question number 21. It says, the commission has directed advertisers to restrict the use of the word natural to foods that do not contain color or flavor additives, chemical preservatives, or nothing that has been synthesized. Need a different color. Um, and so we can see, this is the underlying portion of the sentence, and we can see we have a negative word here, nothing. Um, but if you go further back in the sentence, we have a do not here at the beginning. So we have a double negative here, and actually there's a split, a 2-2 two -two split between using nothing or anything. So if you're on point, and you're paying attention, and you know about the double negatives, you'll know that you can't have not and nothing in a sentence. It's not going to be, it's not formal English, it's something that's not in academic writing. So you'd want to eliminate all answer choices that have nothing and go with the answer choices that have anything in them. 
Um, and then at that point, you have only two answer choices to really work with, which makes it a lot easier. So um, those are the basics about double negatives. When you know you're writing your college application essay, um, when you're writing a formal letter, you probably don't want to use them. But you know, have fun with them with your friends. Experiment with double negatives. It can lead to some silliness, which I always appreciate. So um, if you have any questions about double negatives or any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. They'll be at the bottom of my knees, probably. Um, and I'll be back here next Tuesday, so be excellent to the universe, and I'll see you then.